today with the advent of technology and the Judeo-Christo religions, many of the things that many of the things that we refer to as our culture have been termed demonic practices. And so we're actually walking away from our culture. And Mr. Speaker, as a Dangwe boy from the Gandangwe ethnic group, I, 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 am, I, I am very, very, very worried. Because Mr. Speaker, in 2017, when I became member of parliament for Ningo Pram Pram, in the Ningo Pram Pram district, there were 37 Akan language teachers, but there were only two Dangwe teachers. In a Dangwe community like Ningo or district like Ningo and Pram Pram. And so there was a shortage of teachers. Mr. Speaker, I made a conscious effort within the, the first four years in office to work with the University of Education, Winneba, which had a bachelor's degree in Dangwe. And we sponsored children to go and, and, and study and get the degree. But Mr. Speaker, that did not solve the problem. You then have the Ghana Education Service post these Dangwe teachers to the, to, to the north, or post them to the Ashanti region to go and teach social studies and, 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 and Bible knowledge when they studied Dangwe. So why are you posting them away? And so recently, the Gandangwe Tahuloyake took a stance and said they thought that the Ghana Education Service was intentionally working to kill some languages. Because, Mr. Speaker, if we have trained teachers in our local languages, and there is a shortage of teachers in the region. Why post them away to go and teach a different language? It makes absolutely no sense.